I want to share with you a true story about how a 15-year-old A320 aircraft land on her belly which eventually led to something more disastrous. The domestic flight was from Alama Iqbal International Airport in Lahore to Karachi, Pakistan and there were 91 passengers on board this flight. The captain was a senior pilot in the airline with 18,000 flight hours. The aircraft got airborne and one and a half hours later, the aircraft was slated to land in Karachi runway 25 left ILS approach. As the aircraft approached, Jinnah Airport ATC told the pilots that they were too high and too fast. At Markley Waypoint, the aircraft was at 9,780 feet at about 245 knots. Markley is a waypoint that is 15.5 nautical miles away from the airport. Open descent was engaged, autopilot disconnected and speed brakes was selected. Remember, speed brakes are extended in full when autopilot is off. The pilots then responded that he was satisfied with the altitude. At 10 nautical miles away from the airport, he was at 7,000 feet. If you use our quick mental calculation, do check out this video. The aircraft is supposed to be at 3,000 feet instead. The ATC then warned the pilots again, so in total, Karachi Approach advised the plane to discontinue the approach twice and cautioned them once. The pilot then responded that he is satisfied and is able to handle the situation. And before we continue, I do this video so that you can save time by not reading endless reports with graphs and dissecting on how accidents happen. Because of the overwhelming response, I have decided to create a magazine in order for you to save time. You click on the join button to get Airboss magazine where I break down past accidents and incidences and recommendations from authorities on how to save yourself. Remember to email me at captain.sq.a320 at gmail.com and I will air fly you your copy and now back to the show. So when they intercepted the localizer and glide slope for runway 25 left, flaps of 1 was selected at 243 knots, the landing gear and speed brakes was retracted. And so remember, when can you select flaps 1? Overspeed and EGPWS warnings come up. But both pilots seem to be distracted with multiple warnings that come up. And so the plane decided to continue the approach and ATC cleared them to land. At 500 feet, the landing gear was still retracted, flaps 3 was pulled out and airspeed was at 220 knots with the descent rate of 2,000 feet per minute. And so the aircraft landed without the landing gear and because the A320 had huge engines, the engine started scraping on the runway causing damage to both engines. The pilots applied reverse thrust and initiated a braking action. ATC saw what was going on and did not inform the pilots. The pilots then decided to go around. There was an FDR flight data recording and the landing gear was selected down briefly and then followed by the gear being selected up again. After the go around, the pilots then decided to try for another approach for ILS runway 25 left. But shortly after the go around, the engine starts to fail one by one both of them. The ram air turbine come out to power the electrical system because both engines is not providing juice to the aircraft. Do check out my video on electrical emergency configuration on how it works but the flight data recorder stopped recording according to the design limitation. The aircraft was unable to maintain level flight because now the landing gears were extended increasing drag with both engines not providing thrust. The pilots declared media and crashed 1340 meters short of runway 25 left and the aircraft had a high angle of attack landing gears extended and slats at flaps 1 with flaps retracted. A fire broke out and unfortunately 97 people on that plane passed away with 2 passengers survived. 4 people on the ground were injured when the plane crashed and one of them passed away in the hospital. As this was a preliminary report being published, we have to wait for the final report to know for certain what had happened. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!